What's going on YouTube? Dan here from Underground Entertainment. <clears throat> Today I'm going to make a video here and show you how to put uh, MP4 files into Movie Studio Platinum 13 or any other movie studios. And I also hear Vegas Pro has this issue sometimes. So if you open it up, mine's already open here, and you create a new uh, video and you import some media. So we go down here and we go to videos and then we go to Pog because that's what I record on for my uh, Xbox videos and we go to properties here and I'll show you it's an mp4 file so for me for the past like two weeks um, it's been not importing them it would I'd bring it in here and it'd bring me up an error and it would say cannot import file uh, you know something isn't working right and for some reason today right before I went to make this video actually it's working and uh, I don't know if a couple of the things I did has affected that or not or what but I'm gonna tell you and show you what I did so far so uh, excuse me there and uh, so yeah let's get after it so it's in here and whatnot as the mp4 which is awesome so one of the things I did and uh, Oh, that thing's in my way, so I gotta minimize that a little bit. Is I downloaded QuickTime. So if you go to QuickTime, I guess this one, and you download QuickTime for Windows, if you're on a Windows, and of course for Mac, for Mac. And um, apparently, well, obviously, it's gonna bring down. A lot of mp4 like codes because QuickTime deals a lot in mp4 so I did that and it actually didn't do anything for me but I don't know maybe it it did help out in a way I just figured I'd mention that uh, in case someone somebody wants to give it a try so the next thing is I'm using a Norton safe search here because I wanted to show that it is a safe site and you're going to search this up and it's called Asoft and you go to this one asoft.com and it is okay and uh, you want once you're on here on the website you go to video and you can get total video converter or video converter ultimate for Mac or Windows and uh, I have the ultimate and you try it for free it costs money but uh, the free version works well there's no need to spend money if you don't have to so this is what it looks like once you've downloaded it, ran the installation, and if you created a desktop icon, this is what it'll look like for the ultimate version. So you want to click and open it up, and if it's uh, you haven't paid for it, this is going to pop up and it's going to say unregistered, and you're using a trial version. Uh, for more for more than five minute files, you could only convert five minutes. For less than five minute files, you can only convert half. Well, that's bullcrap. Um, I've converted like 20 minute videos on this and it's worked. So I don't really know where they're going with that, but it worked for me. I hope it'll work for you. I really do. Because I know how frus frustrating it can be trying to deal with this stuff. <sighs> okay, and the next thing it says is except YouTube site you can only download 10 videos at most from other sites so you can totally download videos with this which I think is pretty cool so to download a video you'd go there but you'd add a file here or you can click and drag so we're gonna go ahead and click and drag a pog because I use a hop hog to record my Xbox gameplay click and drag okay so it's an mp4 so down here is where you get to change it so you open that up and it brings up a lot and uh, so you know you can go through and do whatever you want to do so they have 4k here they got HD 3d you know Apple iPod iPad iPhone Samsung whatever Blackberry Xbox you name it there's 
all sorts here. So I record in HD, so we want to go to the HD tab. And you can go HD MPEG-4, which does work uh, for some reason. <laughs> it This one works in, uh, in Movie Studio. And or you can do the one that I'm doing right now, which is MPEG-2 PH HD video. And uh, it's pretty good. I won't lie. It does the trick. So you do that and you press convert and it'll say we released video enhance. So that's this tab right up there. It enables you to upscale video resolu resolution, sorry, with superb quality. Automatically adjust the brightness and contrast, remove the video noise, and reduce video shaking. Have a try now. Well, of course I'm going to have a try. So, on the enhance, you can do a bunch of stuff here, like upscale it, optimize brightness, remove noise and video shaking. <clears throat> you can also rotate it. 3D stuff, if you're into that. I'm, I'm kind of new to it, so I haven't really messed around too much. Crop effect of course enhance like I was just at and you can add a watermark which is pretty cool uh, it's pretty easy to add a watermark in there uh, you just throw a text in there uh, oh, let's do uh, like Dan or something so yeah that's all that okay and we want it to be black okay we'll make it something like that there we go apply press close so now that puppy's gonna be in there so anyways once I you're all done messing around press convert this is gonna pop up again <clears throat> press order later and it'll convert and this is a really small video for this exact reason and make sure you have it on the last previous page there I should have showed you but right below where you choose what to convert it to is where you choose how to or where to save the video so make sure you know where that is uh, yes want to quit 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 that puppy open this up add media so mine's in documents AE soft oops video MPEG right there click on that puppy open that up and it imports the MPEG files no problem fits right in there do you want to set your project videos of course dun -dun -dun -dun. there's a watermark in there you can see the Dan so yeah it works really well um, I have absolutely no complaints with this program whatsoever again like I said it is safe to use and everything like that yeah, it doesn't bring any viruses to your computer and um, yeah no it's awesome and if anyone also is interested just because I had to do a little bit of messing around uh, the capture screen capture that I'm using is called move AVI and it does cost money um, but it is a really good capture uh, it works really well and uh, also for my gameplay ones, I use my GeForce Experience Shadow Play, and uh, for the Hapog, I use uh, an HD PVR Rocket for my Xbox gameplay, and um, all of that stuff works perfect in these three programs, or two programs, sorry, perfect, and uh, no problems, so definitely recommend them. Uh, definitely recommend the movie studios if you're working with a limited budget because not everyone can afford a $500 Vegas Pro <laughs> or a monthly subscription to Adobe. I mean, I could, but I don't know how I feel about a monthly subscription for it, but that's okay. This works great. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help solve your guys' issues. And uh, I hope that you guys... Uh, have a lot of fun making videos now that you can import it so please like leave a comment if you have any questions please comment if I don't get back to you please uh, private message me and I'll try to answer it and help you out as best I can so again thanks for watching take care